Hey, welcome back. And this morning I'm gonna give you a little bit of a design tip that I used on this page. I had seen this page on another uh, layout and I loved this uh, bubble border uh, that she had created. And so I wanted to create it with MDS. Um, but the thing was, I had these bubbles coming off um, this uh, cardstock piece here and I did not want them seen. So let me show you how you can hide those uh, when you want your bubbles kind of running off the page. I call that the running man. All right, so let's go over here to a blank one. And when I started this layout off, I started off with a whisper white background and then I added the chevron overlay. But you'll notice way down here, my opacity is way low, just so you can see that chevron. Now to start this piece, the uh, Baja Breeze background is just a photo box filled with Baja Breeze cardstock, uh, textured cardstock, and I made sure I could really see that texture, so I zoomed in. And then next, I went down here to my global search, and I typed in bubble. And any bubble that I have, uh, thought bubble, in my stamp brushes or in my embellishments will pop up. You'll see here in a second. It's thinking, because Kimberly has lots of them. There they are. And went ahead and just selected a few that I wanted and then copy and pasted them around so they would fit, okay? So let's make this one a little bit bigger here and we're gonna pop it up. But if you could see closely, these are running off and even though this is a white background, you potentially could still see them. So I went ahead and came over here to my 12 days of Christmas. When you open that up, there is a, I actually use this piece here. We'll bring it up and I'm gonna rotate it. I'm gonna bring it all the way up, and come down a little bit and make it a little bit wider. So now it's going to cover any of those bubble pieces that are going off but I didn't want it that color. So I went ahead, put the, used my recolor tool and hit the gray and hit okay. And there you go. You have your, um, your piece is covered. Your bubbles are not gonna be seen. And then this can be used as a great embellishment for your page. So let's come back over here to the actual page. And the last thing I want to show you is these two pieces here are just pieces of washi tape. Um, let's double click on that. If you want to find out where you got that piece beside your supplies, you can double click on your embellishment, hit info, and it's going to tell you. This came from my delightful digital tape washi. Um, but the color was actually very different and I wanted the gray, um, so I just recolored it. And then I took the same thing, I copied and pasted it, and then I changed that color to the Baja Breeze. So great little tips that you can do um, with the recolor tool, and I hope you have a great day. I'll see you again.